Om Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, um, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I want to tell one last story of uh, Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Vitebsk, but I'm going to do it by way of the early uh, Chabad Lubavitch um, rabbis. Uh, this is concerning the son-in-law um, of the Alter Rebbe, Rebbe Schneur Zalman of Liadi's son. So this is the, son, Rebbe, uh, the Alter Rebbe's son's son-in-law. Um, and there was a custom for those who studied um, with him that everyone who was uh, sat over uh, books in the, in the Bez uh, Medrash, and the, each one had to have his own candle as he read, as he studied. But after uh, the study, what they would do is they would extinguish the, all the candles but one. And they would sit around this one candle and they will tell stories of, uh, of the tzaddikim from the early days of, uh, of Hasidus, of the, the Hasidic movement. One day the rabbi, the son-in-law of the son of the Alter Rebbe, comes in and he sees all his students <clears throat> sitting around one candle. He says, what are you doing? What, uh, what are you talking about? And one of the students says, we're talking about uh, Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Etapsk. And immediately uh, the rabbi says, no, no, no. If you're going to be talking about him, I want you to light all the candles. Because when he spoke, there was no sense of self, no sense of, uh, of anything other than pure Torah. There was no room for the Sitra Akra, the other side, the dark side, to get in. So when you speak of him, when you speak of his words and his deeds, you light all all the candles, as if you were studying the Torah, like you were earlier with all the candles lit. When you're talking of Menachem Mendel of Atepsk, light all the candles in his honor, because that's what he was. He was so filled with light. There was no sense of, uh, of self, no way for the darkness to get in. Light all the candles. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Muna Project, I'm Danielle, and thank you too much.